With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, this is our question. Let me explain this to you. Dimer of acetic acid in liquid benzene is in equilibrium with acetic acid monomer at certain temperature and pressure. If 25% of the dimer molecules are separated out, then which of the following is a correct statement? So first of all, we'll understand the change that is happening. Two molecules of acetic acid are basically getting dimerized and finally we are getting the formation how the bonding is happening there is a hydrogen bonding that will be combining the two units together over here okay we can represent that in this way a hydrogen bonding happens between this uh, electronegative oxygen of one carbonyl and this hydrogen Similarly here, so hydrogen bonding is keeping them together. So if we talk about the Wendt-Hoff factor, then Wendt-Hoff factor in the case of dimerization will obviously decrease because the number of units, number of molecules are decreasing. Earlier we had two molecules of acetic acid. Now only one molecule of product is there. So Wendt-Hoff factor will be less than one. It is going to decrease out. Now the question is saying that 25% of dimer molecules are separated out. So let's pen it down. 25% of dimer molecules are taken out. So what will be the result of this? Because we are taking the product less. Okay, we are removing the product. So what will happen according to Lee chart layer principle? The reaction will further be directed towards the right hand side. So reaction goes more towards the right hand side. So because of that, I value further decreases. Okay. So we have to keep this thing in mind that this will be decreasing the value of Wendt-Hoff factor further less. Okay. Now we know that the expression of observed molecular mass is is equal to the real one molecular mass and then divided by i okay so as we can see that when half factor is decreasing so we can say observed molecular mass will be increasing okay so we can conclude that because of this average molar mass of solution will be increasing because they are in the inverse relation so if we check the statement the second statement would be correct that average molar mass of the solute increases because i value is decreasing on reducing the dimer molecules by 25 ticks. okay now if we check the first one that is saying freezing point of the solution reduces so in order to understand this we need to understand the depression in freezing point constant that is given as i into kb the class uh, the constant that we are having multiplied by m okay so we can say that depression and freezing point is directly proportional to i similarly if we talk about the elevation and boiling point that is also directly proportional to the vent half factor this is elevation is also directly proportional so this was the depression in the freezing point and this is the elevation but we know that these are the changes this is not the actual freezing point or the actual boiling point these are the changes that are decreasing with the decreasing value of i so we cannot say that freezing point of the solution is reducing rather depression is reducing okay similarly boiling point is also not being changed because the overall change is uh, changing there and this last one is saying molar mass of the solute is decreasing. This is also wrong because molar mass of the solute is increasing because of the, this dimer that we can see over here. Okay, so option number B is correct. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.